So you're laying in bed, scrolling through absolute garbage on your phone. You feel like worse with every swipe. Your brain is turning to mush, but you can't stop. And here's what's wild. That's not weakness. Your brain is doing exactly what it was designed to do. It's just that someone figured out how to hack it. So today we're uncovering the disturbing neuroscience behind doom scrolling and brain rot. It'll show you why your brain gets trapped into this negativity loop that tech companies are exploiting. We'll dive into the uncertainty reward system that keeps you hooked. Plus the real damage this is doing to your ability to think. And yes, there is a way out, which I'll show you. But first, let's let me tell you about something that happened last week. Last week, a participant in my program goes, Gregory, I spent four hours last night watching videos of some toilet with a head singing. Four hours. What is wrong with me? Well, nothing, nothing is wrong with you. Look, we're all doing this. Pick up your phone for one thing, suddenly it's 2 a.m. and you've watched 300 videos of people eating food that glows in the dark. You feel like trash, but your thumb keeps moving, right? And here's the thing, your brain is responding to a system that was literally designed to trap it. So doom scrolling, that compulsive scrolling through news, videos and whatever, it's not random. A 2021 study from USC found that this behavior activates the exact same neural pathways as gambling. The exact same ones. See, your brain gets stuck in what neuroscientists call a, a negativity loop. You feel bad, so you scroll for something to feel better. But the content makes you feel worse, so what do you do? You scroll even more. It's genius, really. I mean, it's, it's evil, but it's genius. And here's what kills me. The algorithm knows this. They figured out that negativity, shocking, or, or just completely absurd content keep you scrolling longer. They're literally feeding you poison because because poison is profitable. Think about it. Even when you start with happy puppies, where do you end up? Like three hours later, you're watching conspiracy theories or all people fighting in parking lots. The algorithm always pulls you towards the, the dark stuff. It knows that outrage and absurdity are more addictive than, than joy. But that's, that's just the beginning. Now, Oxford Dictionary named brain rot their 2024 word of the year. Oxford, you know, the same people who gave us Shakespeare's complete works are now officially acknowledging that we're collectively destroying our minds with digital garbage. Dr. Anna Lemke at Stanford calls this dopamine dysregulation. Basically, you need more and more insane content to feel anything at all, really. Regular content doesn't do it anymore. You need the weird stuff. And this is why you're watching videos of skibbity toilet or whatever that Italian brain rot thing is. You know, the chimpanzini bananini bombardero crocodilo. I don't even know what I'm saying here. Nobody does. And actually, that's the point. Your brain is so fried, it needs complete nonsense to feel stimulated. But here's what's really happening. This content is like eating cotton candy for every meal. Yeah, it gives you a sugar rush, but you are literally starving. Your brain needs Needs real stimulation, real connection. Instead, it's getting toilet heads. And wait, to neuroscience gets even crazier. So researchers at UC Santa Barbara in 2022 discovered something fascinating. They call it the uncertainty reward loop. Every time you scroll, your brain doesn't know what's coming next. It could be boring, it could be amazing. That uncertainty, that is what triggers the same anticipation circuits as slot machines. Your brain is literally gambling. Every swipe is pulling the lever. And just like Vegas, the house always wins. But here's where it gets really messed up. You see, a study from UC Irvine found that doom scrolling creates cognitive fatigue. Your brain gets so exhausted processing all this random garbage that it loses the ability to, to focus on anything real. And when your brain is exhausted, what does it want? More stimulation. It's like being so tired you can't sleep, so you drink more coffee? It makes total sense, right? No, it's insane. But that's what we're doing. Look, Stanford researchers found something that really explains everything. When people feel anxious, bored or depressed, they use crawling to avoid those feelings. But 
and, and, and this is crucial. The scrolling doesn't actually fix anything. It's like a scratching a mosquito bite. It feels good for a second, but it makes it worse overall. And there's this social element nobody talks about. Even when the content is complete garbage, sharing these brain rot memes makes people feel connected. You're bonding over mutual mental deterioration. Hey, did you see that video of the banana crying? Yeah, I watched it 47 times. That's friendship in 2020. MIT research from 2023 shows this creates what they call continuous partial attention. Your brain never fully focuses, but never fully rests. You're basically keeping your brain in first gear, re revving the engine, going nowhere. No wonder everyone's exhausted. So here's what really concerns me. The University of Colorado found that consuming too much absurd content actually reduces your tolerance for complexity. When your brain gets used to processing information in 15 seconds chunks of nonsense, real thinking becomes painful. Yale researchers in 2023, and, and, and this is wild, they found that excessive doom scrollers become emotionally numb to real life. Good things don't feel as good. Bad things hmm, don't feel as bad. You're just flat. And the crazy part, you know it's happening. People literally call it brain rot while they're doing it, right? You're aware you're poisoning yourself, but you can't stop. It's like watching yourself from outside your body screaming, put the phone down while your thumb keeps scrolling. But here's the thing, Brown University researchers found something that actually works. They call it curious awareness. Instead of fighting the urge to scroll, well, get curious about it. What does that urge feel like? Where do you feel it in your body? Now, when you catch yourself doom scrolling, ask, what am I actually looking for here? Connection, distraction from anxiety, entertainment? Once you know what you really need, you can actually get it. Because I promise you, that need is not being met by a toilet with a head. See the solution? The solution isn't willpower, it's understanding that your brain evolved to seek information and connection. Doom scrolling hijacks these drives, but doesn't satisfy them. It's like drinking salt water when you're thirsty. So I'm curious, what's the weirdest brain rot content you found yourself watching at 2am? Like the stuff where you're watching it thinking, why am I watching this? So drop it in the comments below. I read every single one and honestly, it helps me understand just how deep this rabbit hole goes. Now if you want to learn how to protect your attention in a world that's literally designed to steal it, we dive deep into this in my course on focus at brainacademy.com. We teach you how to work with your brain instead of against it. Brain out. Sharp.